to be honest, me and this one did not get along mm. when we first met. I can see that. We were phony friends. Okay, now, I can we see that too. Phony we was phony friends. When? We was and, phony, and this we was phony friends because Welcome to Tell the Truth Tisha, where honesty reigns supreme and authenticity is our currency. Join me as we dive into the depths of truth, unraveling stories, and uncovering perspectives with my hot guests, hot topics, dope conversation, and more. Make sure you tune in because it's going to be a hot, hot show. What's up, everybody, and welcome to your very first episode of Tell the Truth Tisha Live. Guys, I am out of the bedroom, and I decided for 2024, I needed to give you something a little bit more because, you know, I know my purpose, and I know my worth, and this right here is something that the world needs. So welcome to the studio version of Tell the Truth Tisha, and I have some of my great and best girlfriends here today that are opening up this episode with me. So I want you guys to do me a favor and please give them the most heart warm welcome that you can possibly give them. I have Tiffany and Jamie guys. Hey, congratulations, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, do me a favor, guys. Go over to uh, YouTube, smash that like button, and then share the video because everybody's going to need to hear this. This is um, real conversation. And when I say we're going to be telling the truth, we are telling the truth today. So you guys are going to get a little bit of motivation, a little bit of everything. It's going to be very interesting. But uh, stay tuned. Grab your drinks, get your dinner, and then go tell somebody. Grab somebody. And uh, let's have this conversation. So what's up, girl? How y'all? How's, how's <laughs> life? Life is life. Yeah. yeah. Life is life. Yeah. Somebody just celebrated a birthday. Pisces season. Hey. hey. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, friends. I know my mom and my sister are Pisces. <laughs> All my exes are Pisces. My, you are a Pisces, Mika is a Pisces, and, and you like your, your exes. Right, that's what I'm saying. All your exes, because they wouldn't be exes if, you know, but, okay, come I, on, friend. I, I just, wait a minute, let me say what I got to say. Okay. I like female, it's just like the same thing with Virgos. I like female Virgos, mm -hmm. and I like female Pisces, but male Virgos are very attractive to me, mm -hmm. but it don't never work out. It would mm -hmm. be like crazy. Like this, mm -hmm. and it just never works out. Just like Pisces, mm. never works out. Mm. Y'all, like y'all's dynamic has held on for a long time. Y'all been friends for how long? <laughs> okay, so when I left Spellacy, because to be honest, me and this one did not get along mm. when we first met. I can see that. We were phony friends. Okay, now, I can we see that too. We was phony friends. When? We was, is, phony, is this we was phony friends because there were times where we were on the phone and I have no idea why we was on the phone. I have no why idea why we was on the phone. <laughs> that, was, that was after I left Spellacy. No, it ain't. It was at when we was at Spellacy. I have no idea why I was talking to you. <laughs> I do not know why I was on the phone with you, why we were talking about this, why was I getting off the bus, walking home. I have no idea. Mm. It was something we, that attracted y'all because, because... We was phony friends. It held, though. It, it stayed. Yes. It I don't did. even know how it happened. I, I, it was meant to be. We went to school. Like, we we was the only two together mm -hmm. at school. Like, once, we, once I went back to Collinwood, mm -hmm. me and her were, like, in I, seven. We were friends in the seventh grade. We were. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. Because I was still at Spellacy in the time. seventh grade, and I used to call and her. You wasn't at Spellacy in the seventh grade. I wasn't. I, I don't know. Her. I don't know how. I don't even know how the fuck she got the number. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give it to her. So how you know that they got my fucking number? To be honest with you guys, now like seeing the dynamics of your friendship inspires me because it's really really hard to keep females as friends um just because of the cattiness the drama boys um jealousy envy and how so how have you guys been able to navigate through all of that 
<laughs> Listen, I just love we, her. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to see no bad for her. Yeah. So, to be honest, you know what I mean? Like, our friendship. We had up to now. We yeah. did. You we know what I mean? Up. So, it, yeah, we broke up. We broke up before. Mm-hmm. We broke up for about two years. Okay. And um, it a, a, a death, somebody's death. Mm-hmm. Bring it, bring it back, mm-hmm. and um, I think I I reached out. She reached out to me before, mm-hmm. and I wasn't receptive to it. That was mm-hmm. the Black Planet message. Okay. Oh yeah. my God! Not you going back to Black yeah, Planet. Yeah, yeah. She wrote me a message on Black Planet. Uh huh. I, I love that. She mm-hmm. did, and I wasn't. It was like, mm. okay, okay, and then um, uh, <laughs> it was a death. Mm-hmm. Some, of 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 acquaintance of mine, but a friend of hers, mm-hmm. and her that she was hanging with, mm-hmm. had passed away. Mm-hmm. So it made me reach out to her to be like, "You good? You mm-hmm. cool?" And that's how we you guys back. got back. Yeah, because yeah. we, yeah. we we broke up for about two years. Mm-hmm. It was after I had a baby and everything. Yeah. Oh wow! Like yeah. we broke up when I was we were eighteen. Oh. And and then got back together. Yeah. I think but I like this duo because you know I would not have been able to. Me too, I and and we come great friends, friends with you. Like, friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but but yeah, it's yeah. I think the dynamics are so important, and I see young girls today who don't value or know the importance of having a friend and somebody that you can talk to that's supporting you, that doesn't want anything um, from you, but just to be there for you and be your friend and see you grow as they're growing and elevate. And so, and you be know, supportive yeah, and like a hater and like root for you. Absolutely, like a, it, it is a lot of females that. Even at our big age, yeah, there's a lot of females that still Definitely. will not root for you, yeah, will not support you, that will not share your post or yeah. you got a business or won't tell somebody about it or even just say congratulations. It's still a lot of females yeah. that do that. Speaking of businesses, y'all, um, if you know, I used to, and not going to say used to, but I still have it. It's on hiatus, the Lunchtime Chronicles. And Jamie was one of the sponsors for the Lunchtime Chronicles. She has her own business. It's called Faithful Lips by Jamie. Um, y'all know I love, uh, love, love, love a good lip gloss. And I always rock her lip gloss on the videos. So this is the curator of the Faithful Lips by Jamie. You got anything out new, friend? Um, nothing new. I got some new glasses in. Okay. I just haven't posted them yet. Oh, okay. I'm so okay. Sorry. It's work. Uh, the the nine to five is. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. It's the nine to five is not really a nine to five. It's like a twenty four hour gig mm-hmm. for real. So a part of Tell the Truth Tisha is to provide you with motivation. So as your friend and for the viewers who are watching, watching, um. I always say that you have to create time for yourself when it comes down to your business. At least dedicate two hours to being able to do that because, I mean, we can get so caught up in doing everybody else's work yep. that we neglect our own work. So I'm going to encourage you, friend, and you know I'm going to stay on your back about this since I know this now. Yes. Um, you got to give into that business because that's your brand. That's your baby. You need to be able to find the time to do that. So whatever that looks like for you. Make sure you find that time. Write it down. Make sure y'all grab your journals. Take a, um, take some notes real quick because this is important. Um, and write out your plan. Make a plan for yourself that says that on this particular day, I'm going to dedicate this time for that because you have a great product. Mm-hmm. Just go. I mean, I've been there. We've been there, you know. So we know. I really, the, what I really need to do is I, I want to open my store. Like, I have the money to do it. I just don't have the time. But you do. So so what? So what? we're going to change that and say, in this season, I'm going to make time and I'm going to open my business. Because if that's what you desire, that's what you need to go get. Yeah. Yeah. So so what I've been working on most recently, um, um, I have been working on a business plan with, like, annual projections okay so i can get it's a, it's a loan called the lift local loan okay mm-hmm. um so i can get that business um loan mm-hmm. to be able to fund 
um, an employee. Yeah. And then I gotta find it because I want to be able to pay my employee. I right. don't want no fees. Yeah. Because I, yeah. I know how people people be people in. Yes, yeah. they do. And I, I I just can't have you giving out my lip gloss and sunglasses mm -hmm. to your yeah. Yeah, to your homegirls. <laughs> right. Yeah, to your homegirls. I, I I but however, I I gotta find somebody I trust. My I, I have the perfect person to do it. My daughter. Mm -hmm. She's a little. She just don't want to do it. But she will. She's still young. Too. Yeah. She yeah, is, and you got to take that responsibility for her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. To, and it's her mother's oh, business, she so she's gonna want to fail you. Yeah. So all she got to do is sit in the mall. That's responsibility when she could be out. Yeah. No, she'd be at, out. no, she be at work. But it's not the mall. That's different. Okay. The mall is enticing. People yeah. walking by, walking people coming around. up to you see you. You want to go hang out. Yeah, you want right. to go shopping. Then you'll be mad as hell right. when her homegirls start coming in and they ain't bad. Now. Right. Yeah. They just coming yeah, to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. So, storefront maybe? Not, you know, I don't know. But we'll talk about that. Yeah, so. we can talk about it. I just don't want to be in the bars anymore. So, a part of our friendship is we hang out and we, you know, we kick it and we have fun and we have interesting conversation <laughs> some of them you guys are not going to be privy to because yes this is tell the truth tisha however we do have to have some discretion about what we talk about <laughs> they're exactly friend there you go boundaries okay um i'm not quite there yet to be able to open up that side of who i am just yet but don't worry it's coming um may i i'll write the book first and then this is the high chapter. They they tell me all the time Ooh, I need to write a book. book. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, it might be a bestseller, New York's best selling Great. time, I right? So we just watched a video of a young lady who was talking about women today and why men are no longer thirsting after them or pining after them. Um, because of how they're carrying it themselves. What did you guys think about what she said? I think some of it is, is some truth to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's some truth to it because men nowadays know they could buy it. Mm. They could buy it and she gonna make them do what it do. You know what I mean? Um, some of what she was saying, I, I don't know every female. Right. I don't know every female. But, you know what I'm saying, a lot of women are portraying themselves as these city girls. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. it's like, buy me a bag. Yeah. And, and, and buy me this or buy me that. Or if you can't buy this or if you can't give me this, then that's a lot of what is, is being portrayed out yeah. there. So, why I got a thirst for that if I could pop, if I could buy it? Yeah. There's no challenge in that. The only yeah. challenge is I got to have, I could be able to afford it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you not going to be my wife if I gotta purchase you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 modern day prostitution. Yeah. <laughs> I mean I, any any is modern day prostitution. Anytime I have to if a man has to give a woman or vice versa yeah some money to perform something. This is true. That is this that is, is true prostitution. Now. Yeah. So you got modern day prostitutes out here, but they don't look at themselves with that. They're not looking at themselves that way. So anytime you fuck with a nigga, can I curse? Anytime um. you fuck my bad. Okay. Anytime you fuck oh, yeah. with a nigga, yeah. because you said like we in the okay. Yeah. Any, so anytime you fuck with a nigga in exchange for something, you a prostitute. You a fucking hooker. Yeah. You a hooker. Yeah. If you if you dealing with this man only to Gain a trip, pay your light bill, yeah. get you a Gucci bag or some red bottoms. You got that prostitute. Now, friend, I gotta I, let me take it back though, because do we in relationships not know that sometimes we have to go the extra mile in order for them to spend a little bit more in our relationships? And I'm talking, and I'm speaking on behalf of being in a relationship, not just seeking somebody out because he already has the money. But I'm talking as women, not Jasmine Sullivan and her hotels uh, album. Hearing that and the ladies talking, say, if you know that you need to have such and such paid or taken care of, 
you go on the extra mile to have it done. So are we considered prostitutes and hoes at that moment for doing that? I never did it. So after having sex with your partner, my this is a person that you partner, this is what I'm my talking about. That's different. Because that's my what I'm talking about though. Me whether or not I sleep with him or not. Yeah, but he just threw in some extra money because you just spent you spun around or you no, he did that extra money because I said I need the extra money. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm extra I'm just, money because I put a little extra on there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you know that though? <laughs> do you know that though? Because I mean you may have made it feel differently that go round and he may said, you know. So the See this, this Jim, you, I'm, I'm different with that because I've never had to ask a man for nothing. I've, I don't, I don't want to sound fucked up or somebody gonna, they gonna be like, bitch, you capping. I've never had to ask a man for anything. I've never had to do something for a man to do something for me. Mm -hmm. She ain't never been in the bad name. <laughs> I've never I've never had that I've never had that situation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never had that. Like I've had men do for me mm -hmm. and I don't even know your last name and you don't know my last name. Mm. But it's just I met you and you like, oh you wanna you want a shoe store? Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you buying? Let me get them for you. Mm -hmm. I've never had that situation before. So maybe that's why I look at that a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like my kid's father, when we were in a relationship, not to, not too much on you, but <laughs> when we were in a relationship, the first time he told me no, I was like, nigga, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he know. The first time that man told me no, I was like, but shit changed in his financials where, mm -hmm. okay, he got a, a nine to five now. Yeah. So we got the budget. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, no, you can't just go spend frivolous money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was different. So it was a stone called no on some bullshit. Mm -hmm. But before that, what you want? I, I want blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. You know where it's at? You know where the money at? So I've even before that, I've never had to... I've never Come had out to, of character or become... Okay. Nope. I never had to come out of character what or about ask you, friend? a nigga for nothing or fake it for nothing. Mm. I never had to do it. What about you, friend? I have done strange things. For That's some change, days. yeah. <laughs> Speak on it. <laughs> Wait, tell the truth. Right. Man. Tell the truth, Jamie. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, when I was younger, you know, I guess just going, I don't know, just like hanging out and, I mean, it, it wasn't solely because of that, but have I asked somebody for something? Absolutely, I have. Mm -hmm. um, I have asked, like, oh, yeah, hey, I have this going on. I need some tires. Can you get me some tires? Yeah. But they wasn't like, um, come on. Tires? Yeah. Um, come on, let's go back here. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's never been like a situation that. like that. Yeah. But it was, I mean, it was people that I was dealing with. Yeah. Too. Mm -hmm. So, like, I wouldn't say we were, like, we weren't, like, in house, like, living together or nothing like that. But it'd just be on some. You know, we we're dealing with each other, right? On a regular, right? You need tires, I got you, right? So yeah, it's not but that's different. You still didn't feel like you had to do something oh, extra, yeah, you know, for no. that right. nigga to get you them tires, no, you know right? What I'm saying? Absolutely. So when she's speaking on, it's like, did you ever have to like she? The perfect thing that she said was come out of character, yeah. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. And I I never had to do that, yeah. I never, cause first off, I, I'm and to be quite honest, I never had to do that because I've never been in a sticky situation that I couldn't get myself out of. Right. Because, do, do, do. Daddy, I need blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Daddy, I need X, Y, and Z. Yeah. So I never had to go to a man. Yeah. And tell a man because my daddy was that man. Yeah. My daddy was that man. But see, you have girls today who, and these girls on this age, and this stage of the time, they, their fathers aren't present. Yeah. They don't have relationships and, and, with their dad. Yeah. So, so it's like that's why it's like sometimes like some of this shit is like I can't really relate to. It. Yeah, and it's, it's hard definitely not different. To judge, yeah, because first off, and one thing that she said on there where it was like I cold heartedly agree with that on mm -hmm. the video. She was saying, basically in a nutshell, 
y'all thrive off attention. Yeah, absolutely. So y'all out here doing all this shit for attention, and now you want to complain. Yeah. Because you're not getting the long-term thing that you want from it. And so it's like, what are you doing? They don't know. And I think that uh, just by watching people on social media, like having people like the City Girls, Megan yeah. Thee Stallion, Cardi B, like these different type of influences are really showing them like, oh, if you do it like this, then this is what you can get. But not yeah. actually telling them in the long run, like... At 40, you can't still be busting yeah. it because my mega needs don't work no more. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm married, but, you know, I, I got what I needed. But at 40, it's not going to be the same thing. You're not going to get the same results as you would if you were like 19, 20. Mm -hmm. So it's different. But who's really speaking to them and talking to them and encouraging them to look long term versus the short term goals and become women? Oh, Go by. We ain't talking about that's no damn who, young Miami. That's who's talking to them because that's who they're listening to. But that's because what I'm saying. They, Outside. They, don't, they refuse to talk to the person that's going to give them a gym. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whatever was lacking prior to them being who they are and who yeah. they become, somebody else going to have to come in and give them some tools and some gems if they're going to have to listen to it. But however, for them, experience might be the best teacher. See, that's, I, and I agree. I definitely agree. But as a panel of three sitting here having this conversation, we are all mothers of daughters. And what is the conversation that we're having with our girls? Because when they're like, for me, my daughter's in college. And so I don't know what her friends are telling her. I'm just hoping that whatever it is that I told her, she's utilizing that and picking up on it and holding it. Because so this is what I told you before. And this is what I tell this is what I tell my daughter now. My, I have a um, a seventeen year old, soon to be eighteen next month, and an eight year old. My 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 seventeen year old. I pride myself on the fact that you can't never say "mommy told you." Yeah, this is true. That's one thing about it. You know what I'm saying? There's things that have happened, and she has come back and said, "Mommy, you was right." Everything you told me was right. Mm -hmm. But she still did what she wanted to do in that situation. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, experience is the best teacher. It is. So you went out there. You still did what you, what you wanted to do. So you can't say, I never told you. Right. You can't say you never had nobody tell you that these are the possibilities. Right. That's the only thing you could do. As a parent, mm. that's the only thing you could do. You could take a... What they say, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? And that's the same thing with us as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got, it may not necessarily have came from our parents. You know what I'm saying? But but for me personally, I've had, I had a lot of women. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? It was multiple women. I had an aunt, my aunt Nina, you know what I'm saying? My I had a cousin, she's passed away. I had an aunt, she's passed away My as well. But I had women drop gems on me yeah. and my grandma and be in my be in my business and say you're doing this you're doing this you're doing that whatever i still gonna do what i want to right do. regardless but i can't never say my they didn't tell you didn't tell me. yeah i can't take that gem i didn't take that gem at the moment mm -hmm. but in the long run 41 year old too yeah it's like yep my, my yeah. aunt told me that. yeah yeah you know what i'm saying so I could take what she taught me and teach it to my kids. Yeah. And never not have them know versus the absence of This is true. Not. Because I feel like um I feel like we were wild my, back in the day. In my, okay. You know, like we had like they have like young Miami Cardi B back in the stallion, but we had like we, Trina. Didn't media. we definitely didn't have social media. <laughs> so everything we did was in private. Like nobody knew unless somebody was Listen, saying something. If we had social media back in the day, bitch, we would be in jail. <laughs> we would be we would be in jail. You ever think about shit like that, Jenny? Like all the time. We would be in jail the shit that we Listen. Anywho, um, but our shit wasn't publicized. It definitely wasn't. You know what I'm it like, definitely wasn't. Nope. I, even stuff like the market research. Oh yeah, I you mean, know what I'm saying? like, but so here, I mean, and we don't have to not not say 
who it is. Like, we know that there were a lot of men. Like, we carried ourselves as women. Okay? At 16, 15, 16. Like, we were literally. And if a man was attracted, and we're like, okay, what's up? Because we had Lil' Kim. We had Trina. Who else? Um, Foxy Brown. Like, we had everybody to kind of. And the conversation, no, the raps that they were rapping about, we like, oh, yeah, we can do that. And they were looking at us, and guess what? We wasn't saying no, oh, statutory, whatever, nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing. Yeah. We was about it. However, I, I be thinking that, I think that our generation, though, was more mature than this generation yeah we did some fucked up shit and we yeah. did some immature things and things that we wouldn't want our kids yeah to absolutely repeat. absolutely but we hood bitches raising suburban kids period now that's that's yeah. the killer right there like, <laughs> y'all know where my kids go to school real. at so we've that's that's real you know what yeah I mean? so like our kids didn't have our kids don't have the experiences to be street smart. Yeah, absolutely not. My husband says we my daughter is green all the time. Yeah. All the time. I'm for real. Yeah. We was outside. Yeah. But I think that, again, that talks to experience is the best teacher. So from the things that we know, we were able mm -hmm. to protect our children from. But I don't know sometimes but if. How much yeah. of it yeah. was helpful or harmful. Yeah. And that's the part that I'm thinking about yeah. now. But at the same token. You couldn't, I, I can't subject, it, or, the times is different. Absolutely. Just like when we, we were. We were talking about that, the, the, like at, the, at your at my house. Yeah. yeah. Like the times is different. Absolutely. Like you didn't hear about sex trafficking, kidnapping. Right. You know, we didn't know nothing about you that. You hear about all of that stuff when we were coming up. Yeah. yeah. So the fears. Bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> we, we I mean, even, excuse me, yeah. even still at this big. 40 age, we still get kidnapped. So, guys, a part of Tell the Truth, Tisha, is to leave a motivational quote for somebody. So, guys, I'm going to open it up for you to just leave something in this conversation to inspire the younger generation who might be watching, um, who might feel that it is okay to be a hot girl and to use their bodies to attract a man. What would you say to a younger Tiffany? What would you say to a younger Jamie? That somebody's watching right now. <clears throat> you know what? To a younger Tiffany, I don't know because nothing about anything that I did, I regret. Mm. I don't regret it. The most things that I regret is my focus was wrong. Mm. That's it. Focus more on school. Mm hmm. Focus, put more of a dedication on education. Mm -hmm. Um, them school, school, the education. Yeah. First. Yeah. The other shit, secondary. Yeah. Worry about that shit second. That's why I'm on my kids heavy. Yeah. Same. About education. That's why my oldest daughter driving it in because those are the mistakes that I know that I made mm. that are significant yeah. with me today. Same. So that's, but my experiences, experiences is the best teacher. They you know definitely are. That shit, I can laugh about that shit now. Yeah. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. <laughs> that How about shit you, Jamie? Funny though. My significant lesson was probably the, the wanting to be a housewife mm. versus wanting to just go and get my own. Because I had every... Mm -hmm. Every like just even from my early sales career, um, starting in like the store selling Kooji sweaters and Averex jackets and getting that money mm -hmm. and selling cell phones, mm -hmm. I probably would be a mortgage leader right now mm -hmm. had I just said, you know what? Because my man would be able to call me and be like, hey, um, you got to call off today. Something, 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 something. You know, and I I would leave work. I wouldn't go to work. If mm -hmm. he told me to come home, I'm coming home. Yeah. But now, um, I would tell younger Jamie, just go get it yourself. I would probably be what well, I would probably be living I probably wouldn't be living in no big old mansion because I'm scared of my own shadow. <laughs> but I would be living I would be living like I don't know, lifestyles of rich and famous. I might be like 
friends of Beyonce or something. Okay. Ladies, real quick, give them your social media handle so everybody can follow you if you want to. If you don't, you know. Um. She doesn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to accept you nowhere. <laughs> I thought about that for a second. I thought about that. Jamie. It's at Faithfulness by Jamie on Instagram. That's oh my God. All right, guys. And if I can leave you. <laughs> right. If I can leave you with anything, um, know yourself and know your worth uh, because you are the most important person in your life. Nobody is more important than you are in this actual moment. Um, and if somebody is pressuring you to do something that you don't want to do, you don't have to do it because, you know, use your brain, use your mind. Um, saying no is OK to do. Um, and if the person can't accept you for who you are and who you want to be, then that's not the person that needs to be in your life. So love on yourself a little bit more. Don't forget to smile at somebody because you never know if your smile is a thing that that person may need to help them get through their day. And um, yeah. Know who you are, okay? Because that's the number one thing that is so important. All right, everybody, don't forget to smash that like button. Go over to my page and subscribe to the channel for Tell the Truth, subscribe, Tisha. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow and tell your family and friends to come back and, you know, sit down and get this good old conversation. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Letitia Pittman Official for more daily motivation on Tell the Truth, Tisha. Bye. Bye.